The browser object model is a way for JavaScript to interact with the browser itself. It's essentially a set of objects that represent various parts of the browser, such as the window, the history, and the location. Let's start with the window object. The window object represents the browser window itself and contains a lot of useful properties and methods. For example, you can use the window object to open a new window or a new tab, resize the current window, or even close the window altogether. If you want to open a new tab instead of a new window, you can simply remove the third argument from here. The width and height in the third argument will make sure to open a new window with a width and height of 500 pixels. And if you want to open a different URL in the same tab, then change the underscore blank to underscore self and remove the third argument. This will open a new URL in the same tab. The arguments in window resize 2 will also resize the current window width and height to 500 pixels. And lastly, note that the window.close method may not work in all browsers as it can be blocked by pop-up blockers or other security features. Next up, we have the history object. The history object represents the user's browsing history and allows you to navigate back and forth through the pages they have visited. You can also use the history object to go to a specific page in the user's history. To go back to the previous page or forward to the next page in the user's history, you can use the history.back or history.forward method respectively. Now to go to a specific page in the user's history, you can use the history.go method. Here's an example. This will take the user back two pages in their browsing history. You can also use a positive number to go forward in the history. Now next, we have the location object. This represents the current URL of the browser window. You can use the location object to get information about the current URL or to change it to a new URL. To get the current URL of the browser window, you can use the location.href property. This will lock the current URL of the window to the console. You can also use the location.replace method to change the URL without adding a new entry to the user's browsing history. This will here change the current URL of the window to example.com without adding a new entry to the user's browsing history. You can also use the location object to get information about different parts of the URL, such as the host, port, or query parameters. These are just a few examples of what you can do with the location object. Finally, we have the document object. The document object represents the web page itself and contains all of the HTML elements on the page. You can use the document object to access and manipulate these elements with JavaScript. For example, to access an HTML element by its ID, you can use the document.getElementById method. This will lock the HTML element with the ID myElementId to the console. To access an HTML element by its class name, you can use the document.getElementsByClassName method. This will log an array of all the elements on the page that have the class myClassName to the console. These are just a few examples of what you can do with the document object to access and manipulate HTML elements on a web page. So that's the browser object model in a nutshell. It's a powerful tool for JavaScript developers who want to interact with the browser itself. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.